Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. It is Saturday, December 23rd. Um, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning here. It is cloudy and it's dreary. Um, but I wanted to do a year end, year in review, whip parade, finish parade, 2024 plans video. So buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> it's going to be a long one, I think. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of a life update first and get the elephant out of the room. I almost didn't do this video today. Um, I finished work yesterday. I am now off and do not go back till January 8th. Matt finished work yesterday and does not go back until I think the 3rd of January. <clears throat> Matt's been struggling with a cold the last couple weeks. We, sorry, I'm going to stir my tea. Um, we've been testing him regularly just to make sure it's not COVID with the holidays coming. And his parents had just, you know, they have been struggling with COVID. Sorry, I'm going to detangle my hair. There we go. Um... And he had tested negative the four times that we tested him. This morning we got up getting ready to go to our family breakfast. It happens every Saturday morning. And he said he had kind of been starting to feel a little bit worse. Um, so I said, well, let's test just to make sure because we don't want to take it to some the family or at Christmas time. <laughs> and don't you think that test pasta popped up positive this morning? Like in three seconds. So, I feel fine. Um, I've had some sinus issues all week long, but that's not unusual for me in the wintertime. And I feel fine today. I've been struggling with a headache. But again, the weather's crappy. So, um, yeah. So, he's okay. He's got, like, a cold. You know, he's napping right now. Um, he's not feeling, like, super bad. Um... But our anniversary is tomorrow. We usually on our anniversary spend the whole evening with our kids and we have a dinner. We go to church. We're now not doing that. It is something that we look forward to every year for our anniversary. So we're not doing that. Um, we were to host Christmas for the family. We are not doing that. Um... So it's been a little bit of a day. <laughs> and right now I'm at the point where you just got to laugh and make the best of it because you just can't make this stuff up. Um, to say I'm heartbroken is putting it mildly. I had my cry. I'm over it. I'm moving on for the day. But you get me no makeup. Nothing special done with my hair. It's as unruly as always. And if you're new here, I'm so sorry that this is the video you decided to find me on. Um... But I have lots to show. I have piles. So I have I'm not great at record keeping. Um, I have a solid idea of plans for 2024. Not an idea. Solid plans for 2024. I have lots to show you both in stitching, cross stitching and knitting. Um, I'll try to keep the knitting all to the end. So if that's not your thing, you can piece out. Um, but it may come in. Because I just can't help it. Do you know what I mean? My floss tubes are generally disorganized. Um, and I say um an awful lot today apparently. So I'm going to show you finishes first. With the exception of one, I have all of my 2023 finishes here in front of me. You cannot judge me for not FFOing. Uh, I do plan to FFO now that I'm stuck home. <laughs> For the next week, um, I plan on doing some FFOing. I also plan on stocking my Etsy shop, so stay tuned. There could be a shop update video coming soon. I know I've been promising that. It has not happened. We've been busy, but now we're locked in. So suddenly a whole chunk of time has just lifted right open for me. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Um, I'll talk a little bit about stuff and plans. 
Um, if you follow along on my crazy journey every time I post a video, oh, thank you so much. It is so appreciated. I can't even tell you the encouragement I've gotten from the positive comments that I get on my videos. Um, it's just crazy. The stitching community to me just, kind of, it still, still surprises me all the time. Um, I have Christmas in Paris tea that I'm drinking. I have a little bit of haul to show some knitting, some stitching finishes, whips. I have my whips separated by year that they were started. I'm not going to go into specific dates they were started because it really becomes irrelevant when you look at my plans for 2024. So let's get started. Grab something to eat, grab something to drink because this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a bit. And I'm hoping the lighting's good and I have my laptop kind of propped up on a paint can. Yes, everybody, a paint can. So I'm going to try not to knock my desk. So just forgive me if um shakes a little bit. I may have to pause and then restart depending on how I manage these piles. Um, yeah. And my vacuum is running outside the door. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. And Ralph could easily poke that door open. So we'll see what happens. For those of you that don't know, Ralph is my 70, 80 pound um, yellow lab. Um, yeah, he's cute. It's a good thing we have them right now. So let's start with finishes in no particular order. The one finish that I do not have here, I FFO'd and I believe I gave it to my daughter already because I can't find it. It is the Tire Trio, which is the stack series from I believe Plum, Plum Street Samplers, right? It's the one with the sloths and that was finished, FFO'd and given to my daughter. So that I cannot show you. The rest are here. Um, one of my finishes in 2023 was this needle book. It's called Shiny Things. The Patterns by Lindy Stitches. And I FFO'd this. I bought this as a kit when it came out. Sorry, I got a hair on there. And I FFO'd it. The only thing I did differently that they did not do was I added the ribbon to tie it shut. It has counting pins in here. And that's one of my that's the only FFO that I have. I have a bunch of FOs though. So let's figure out how I'm going to manage this. I think we'll set those right there. All right. Second finished you've seen recently in my video. This is one of the ornaments by Hands On Design. Um, this is Peace. I finished Noel during Jingle Ball last year finished piece this year just before the Jingle Ball. It's stitched on 32 count. I wonder if I still have the tag on here. Chalkboard. I think it's 32 count chalkboard or graphite. I don't remember. 32 count. Do the best I can. And that I plan to FFO soon. Now. Third finish from 2023, actually fourth, because I didn't show you Tire Trio, is Emily's House by Lindy Stitches. This is stitched on 36 count, I believe it's Wren by Picture This Plus. And I'm hoping to get this framed and up on my wall. Love that one. I loved stitching it. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep things a little organized here. This is Token of Love by Plum Street Sampler. No, sorry, Brenda Gervais. Um, some of the called for, some of the, some subs. I stitched this on 36 count coffee linen and I believe I got this off a of D stash and I don't remember I think it's by R and R. I'm pretty sure it's R and R. But I'd like to get this frame too and up on my walls. I have been working on the year in the woods with Gail from Gail's Gold Needle so I have several finishes from those. This is the Eagle I 
I think these are on, this one and the owl are both on <clears throat> 32 Count Valor by Picture This Plus. Here's the owl. I'd like to frame these. I flat finished um, the swans and the fox and wish I had framed them. Here's another one. This is the woodpecker. This is on Vintage Country Mocha. I believe it's 40 count. It is 40 count Vintage Country Mocha. Here's the woodpecker. I finished Gogru. This was part of a kit from Forbidden Fiber Co. called The Mandalorian. Gogru was part of a larger chart and I decided to end it with just him. So I'd like to get him in a small frame or I think a small frame. I think a pin cushion he will curve too much maybe unless I make the pin cushion much bigger than him but he's cute. He's cute to have around. Here is the reindeer from Year in the Woods. This is on 36 count. I don't remember the fabric on this. I wonder if I have it listed here. I really do not recall. Hold on. Hold, please. The reindeer. Do I have it on here? Let me see. Yes, I have it on. It says 36 count It's a Mystery by B Stitch Me. That's why I couldn't figure out. But here you go. Here's the reindeer. Absolutely love how he turned out. I should really get him framed first and have him up for the holidays. <sighs> yeah. Every time I talk about the holidays now, I'm going to be like, remember the year we all had COVID? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this is the bear. The bear is stitched on 40 count Earl Grey by Grace Notes Fabrics. Love how it turned out. Love the bear. I love them all. I didn't love stitching them all. We have two yet to do. The bat you'll see in my whips and the beaver <clears throat> hasn't been started yet. And I'll talk about that when I talk about plans. I love how they all look. I just did not enjoy stitching them all. The bear I did enjoy. The reindeer I enjoyed. The woodpecker I did not. And I don't know what it was that was different between them. Um, but I enjoy... I need to get them up. And the more I bring them up... This is why I wanted to do a kind of a finish parade first. Because the more I bring them out, the more I want to FFO them. I have one more cross stitch finish to show you and then my rest are knitting finishes which I am going to show now because they all qualify and you just got a sneak peek. Mm. <laughs> they all qualify as finishes for me. So the last cross stitch finish for 2023 I think is going to be, is lost no more. He is done people. Done done and done. Came out so good. I am so happy with it. Um, so glad I stuck to it. That last little corner just took it out of me to stick with it. Um, it also burned out my stitchy bug for about a week. Um, but it, so that's why you're going to see a lot of knitting. But he's great. I wonder if I can get this for my screen grab on YouTube. But he's there. There he is. Now, speaking of him, um... Before I show you my knitting finishes, I'm going to show you this and get it off my table here so I have less likely. I bought a frame. He measures out at a 12 by 16. So I ordered a frame. And this frame is a gold gilded frame with a black edging. And I am hoping to get that framed. That's going to be making lemonade out of lemons since we're now quarantined. Um, maybe I'll FFO him. I did get phone core board, acid free phone core board last night. And I'm hoping to FFO him. So, 
Knitting finishes. Had to film this video today because some of these are Christmas gifts. Um, yeah, that's why I, I almost didn't film. I say film because I'm old. Um, but I need to get these Christmas gifts gifted, so I think it just kind of um, pushed me out of my funk, if you get my drift. Um... So here, socks. I finished these socks. These are going to my granddaughter Zoe for part of her Christmas present. So happy with how these turned out. I finished the pair of shorty socks for my daughter Ashley. I'm really happy with how these turned out. These are all her purple and sparkly and they're footies. She loves them. Okay. And I also finished some dishcloths to put in stockings. So I've been, I was hoping to get many more dishcloths done than this. There are four here. I ended up getting three and a partial out of each skein of dishy. I've been doing this with dishy multi-purpose that I got from Knit Picks. I have several more colors of these skeins. Um, so one of these will go to my oldest, one of these will go to my youngest, and one of these will go to my son for their kitchens. And then this one's mine to keep because I bought gray and black to kind of make up. I heard about that from the crazy sock. Hey, the crazy sock lady. She makes all she can out of one and then she buys either gray or black and then uses up the rest of the skein and uses the gray or black to fill in. And then she keeps these and gifts these. So that's what I'm doing. So that is my finishes for 2023. I'm happy with that. I'm happy that Lost No More is done. I am happy that, um, just pay attention while I talk and I get rearranged for the rest of this. Um, yeah, I'm happy for the finishes. I definitely didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done. As you know, I had um, 10 projects by the end of 2023. I did not get them all done. I will carry them over to 2024. Um, and we'll talk about 2024 in a minute. Um, but I'm good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with what I got accomplished. I'm happy with my plans. The happiest I've ever been with my plans going into 2024. Like I can't wait to start my plans, kind of. Um, and now that I'm going to have a whole mess of stitching time... I may actually get a few more finishes before the end of the year. So we'll see. And that will affect plans too, only in that I may have some of those projects that I'm carrying in 2024 done. So. That's not bad. 18 minutes for that. So like I said, these are in no particular order except I have them separated by year. And in general order that they were started. The first one I'm going to show you, and I may not know all the info on these unless I look at my spreadsheet, so and I may do that. It's my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. I am stitching this. I know this fabric's from, from Be Stitch Me. I do not know the colorway. Let me see if I have it in here. I don't think I do. Let's see if I have it on my sheet. I'm stitching this with the Housewives Conversion. It's on 36 count Neptune by Bee Stitch Me. There you go. I'm using the Housewives Conversion. I had talked the last time I did a whip parade. I don't even actually think this has gotten any work since last time I showed it. I might have done it in a pre-Christmas floss tube, thinking I'm going to pull these out and work on them. It still hasn't gotten any work. I do like it. I had talked about cutting it off here and just cutting it off, but I actually like the whole piece. So this is where we're at. Like I said, this is Stitching with the Housewives Conversion. So before I show any more, let's talk about 2024. I am taking 24 whips into 2024. 24 of them. I have way more than that. I probably have 
I thought I had 33 and I found two that weren't even on this list. I do have two in this pile that I'm not sure what I'm doing with yet. Um, I'm taking 24 into 2024 to concentrate on. So while I show you the whips, I'm going to tell you whether I'm taking it into 2024 or if it's getting garaged. I'm going to call it garage. So I have a cubby shelf over there. That's the garage. So if a whip is not going with me to 2024, at least not initially, it's getting put in the project bag. I'm going to toss it on the bed over there and then it's going to go in the garage. If it's going with me, it's going to go over here on the floor to be put in the bin to go out by my stitching chair. Christmas list is going with me into 2024. So, sorry, I'm going to zip. So if you're using earbuds, I will try to warn you when I'm zipping, okay? The second one I'm gonna show you is also going with me into 2024 and hold on while I pull it up on my tablet. These whips again are all from 2020, so I have nothing older than 2020, 2020 now. So just so you know. This is Southern Land. It is a chart, for, sorry about the glare, Owl Forest Embroidery. This is being stitched on 36 count white Edinburgh linen with the called for DMC. This is where I am now. I had pulled this out as one of my 23 and my 10 and 23. Um, that did not happen. And this will go with me into 2024 as one of my 24 projects. Sorry, zipper, so be warned. I will talk to you about how I'm further going to deal with my 20, list of 24 in 2024 um, when I get done showing you all my whips and talking about what's going through with me. So this is another one that's going with me. Long Dong Samplers Pandemic. This is being stitched on 40 Count Heritage with a Silks For You black silk. Let's see. It's stitched one over two. Sorry, I haven't been telling you that. Um, Southern Land is stitched two over two on 36 count. This is one over two. This is where I am. It's going with me in 2024. Sorry, this is why this is going to take a little bit, because I'm really trying, I've spent a lot of time organizing these, and I'm trying to keep them zipper organized. The next one, this is also going with me into 2024, I believe. Let me verify on my list. Yep, it is. This is Kringles by Little House Needleworks. This is being stitched on the called for 30 count Parisian gray linen. This is stitched with all the called for threads, two over two. This is going with me into 2024. I have gotten work on this recently and that is where it's at at the moment. So this one is definitely going with me into 2024. This is my Chatelaine. I have two Chatelaines on the go. I have Mushroom and Fern Chatelaine, which I'm getting ready to show you now. And I have Evening in the Park. Um, I will show you Evening in the Park when I get there. Um, however, that will be going into the garage. Until Mushroom and Fern is done. Uh, Mushroom and Fern, looks like this one it's being completed when it's completed. Let's master the English language. My hair seems to be all over these things. Um, but there you go. I'm stitching this on 28 count mushroom Lugana using all the called for threads and using the threads that it calls for in any stitch at the time. 
so let me see if I can get this. This is hard to show. I'm going to hold the top up. That makes sense. Sorry, it's all wrinkled, but this is the Mushroom and Fern Mandala by Chalene. And this goes with me into 2024. So Evening in the Park will not come back out until this one has been completed. Um, and probably FFO'd. I'm probably going to make myself FFO this before I bring Evening in the Park out. Hold on. Zipper. This is in a bag that was made for me by Gail from Gail's Golden Needle. Uh, the next one. This is a 2020 whip. This is coming with me into 2024. Do you notice a trend with my... Most of my 2020 whips are coming with me into 2024 with the exception of one. Um, the one's not coming, and I'll talk to you more about it then because I, I just don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, but I'm kind of working from my oldest to my newest. So this is Land That I Love by Teresa Kogut. I had once said that I was going to stop at the strawberry border and just call it. I'm actually going to do the whole thing. I say that when I get to a point where I just want my whip to be reduced and I've decided that I just want my whips reduced and I need to make sure that happens. So this is on 40 Count Beach Brew by r and Stitched with all the called for floss. One, over, one thread over two. This is where I am. And this is coming with me into 2024. This isn't a bag that was made for me by my friend Deb when she was stitching. I'm not even sure she's stitching anymore, um, but she started this with me and she made me this bag. All right, my last 2020 whip is Pandemic Sampler by Sarsi Girl. This one is not coming with me into 2024. My thought is that I have Pandem Pandemic by Long Dog Sampler, and if that gets finished, this will sub in, or if Land That I Love, which happens to be a sampler, gets finished, this can sub in there. But this is not gonna come with me into 2024. I tried to have a, like a good, I feel like I have a good mix of projects um, coming with me. I, I do think that I'm going to do this one in its entirety. Um, yeah. And I love the fabric it's on. It is on a piece from XJU Designs. Let me see if I can figure out. It's on 36 count old linen by XJU Designs with the called for DMC. And I love the linen. And I would love to get this border all the way around so that I can cut this linen, any linen, this linen off. Um, but it's not coming with me in 2024. So that's gonna go in the garage. Like I said, if I finish a project, then I have the freedom to either start something I hadn't talked about this yet. So if I, sorry zipper, if, and this bag is by Tiffany from Black Cat Extra Tree. Um, so in the 2024, if I finish something, I will have the option to either pull something out of my 24 starts for 2024, which may or may not get started. Or, I can select one of my whips and pull it in. So for instance, um, like if I finish the Chatelaine, Mushroom and Fern, Eating in the Park will then come in. If I finish a Fancy Lady, I will probably sub another Fancy Lady in or another Mirabilia. Um, yeah, so we'll talk about that more later. 
So I have 2021, 2022, and 2023. Okay, you ready? The first 2021 whip that I have to show you, this one is coming with me. Um, I can pre-warn you, all of my haze will be coming with me. I have five of them. Well, four haze and one from Etsy shop, but all full coverage. They will all be coming with me. The first one that I'm going to show you is Bonded in the Rain. This is charted by Heaven and Earth Design. The artwork is by Leonid Aframov. It is stitched on 25 count Lugana, two over one tent. And I was just working on this the other night. I am doing this in the Royal Rose method. This is where I am. Okay. That is coming with me into 2024. Hold on while I move this stack up because I'm losing some pieces. So hold please. So that one's coming with me in 2024. The next one that's coming with me is on the floor, so I'm going to have to pick it up. Hold on. Okay. This is... Let me try to get the picture for you. This is stitched on 36 count Forbidden Fiber Co. Granite. It is called Liberty's Welcome. I don't remember if this is coming with me or not. This is not coming with me um, into 2024. And I'll tell you why when I get there. This is stitched on 36 count granite, like I said, from Forbidden Fiber Co. This is where I am. Oops, did I get more done down there? This is where I am. Love it, but like I said, I need to focus my attentions in. That's my thing here. There you go. So this is not coming with me, at least not initially, in 2024. This isn't a bag made for me by my mom and my cousin, her zipper. It's an Air Force bag. So that will go in the garage. Next one. This is in a bag by Black Cat Extatry. <laughs> Love her bags, as you can tell. This is a fancy lady. This is Queen of Freedom. She's being stitched on the called for, I believe it's 30 count. Liberty Linen by the Primitive Hair. I cannot wait to get back to her. This is where she's at. I can't even tell if you can see that. Hold on. She's coming with me into 2024. I cannot wait to get her back on a frame and start working on her. She's not going to be the first fancy lady that I work on, though, and I'll explain that when we get there because of the season we're in. Zipper. You like the warnings I'm giving you? I'm just barking it out. Zipper. Uh, this one is also in a bag by Tiffany from Black Hat Extitry. Look at how cute they are. This is Christmas Quaker, and I'm referring to my list to make sure. Yes, it's coming. Um, I have so many projects that I absolutely love. I have to tell you, the decision on which 24 to focus on first, they were hard. They were hard decisions. But this is Christmas Quaker by Bygone Stitches. This is being stitched on. Let me see if I can pull this paper out. I believe I know, but I'm not going to guess. Christmas Quaker is on 40 count Tyco Linen by Picture This Plus. Is being stitched one over two. And I am using 
Classic Colorworks Cherry Cobbler, DMC 935, and um, Gentle Art Gold Leaf. So these are the colors I'm using. And like I said, it's on 40 count Tyco Linen by Picture This Plus. I'm stitching this one over two. And this is where I am. Oh, everything I hold up, I want to stitch on now. So maybe my stitching bug's starting to come back. Zipper. Okay. The next one coming with me into 2024 is... Oh, I feel like this is my nemesis and I just need to gut it out. It is called Tree of Life. It is a Buttons and Beads kit by Mill Hill. And that, if you've been following along with me you get that I'm not a real big fan of stitching on periphery paper, but I have an idea to try. This is where I am now. There's really no reason why this isn't finished, except for I'm not really a fan of stitching on periphery paper. But I watched somebody attach fabric to two sides of it and then put it in a hoop. I am debating on that. Um, but we'll see what I do with it. I already have the frame for it, so as soon as it's done, I can FFO it pretty fast. But yeah, that's where we are. That will come with us in 2024. Um, this is in a bag that was given to me by Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. I have something to show you that she gave to me for Christmas this year. You're going to love it. All right, next one that's coming with me. It better be coming with me. It is coming with me is this is a bag that I made for myself out of a quote block that I did not use. This is Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. This was on my 10 for 23. It did not happen. It is being stitched on 28 count Anubis with the called for DMC in a couple of specialty threads. Anubis is from Under the Sea Fabrics. I've shown this recently. Um, so this will come with me in 2024. Yeah. I honestly think that even if I did just dark 13 stitching, I could probably get this one done in 2024. Sorry. I'm knocking things all over the place. This is also my bag that I made from a quilt block that I didn't use. This is, let me show you, because it's in Pattern Keeper for me. This is Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Let's see if it flips back up. I am stitching this with my Stitchy Sisters group this year. I had already added my whip, and they've decided they want to stitch it in a year. I am stitching this on, I believe it's 40 Count Heritage. By Picture This Plus. Oh no, it's not. It is actually Valor by Picture This Plus. Sorry, Zipper, forgot to warn you. I'm doing it with stash dive threads because when I kitted this up, that's when, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth, the stitches were having supply issues. I never got very far. It's on 40 count, 36 count Valor. See, I'm totally wrong. 36 count Valor. So this will be not only following me in 2024, but this will be completed in 2024. What I'm going to do is divide, because it's in Pattern Keeper, I'm gonna divide the stitches that I have left into weekly increments and just have a weekly goal. So that's that. Sorry, zipper. <laughs> This one is also following me into 2024. This is Royal Holiday. She's actually going back on my Lowry stand today. I have, she will not only follow me into 2024, but I may stitch on her for the remainder of the holiday season since now we are in quarantine. She makes me happy. I'd love to see her done. I am stitching her. I, I keep calling it um, Abyss by Fabrics by Stephanie. 
I don't think it's abyss because Teresa Little Stitcher shows abyss and it looks very different than mine. So I think I have long forgotten the name of the fabric. And I even have abyss on my sheet and I just don't think it is. See, we're already 40 minutes in. I still have two years worth of whips to show you and plans to talk about. So I hope you got something to eat. Um, anyway, I love how she's coming out on this fabric. Gosh, can you just not, how do you not love her? I absolutely love her. Sorry about all my threads. That's just how I roll. Um, but I do think I'm putting her back on my frame today. And she is going to get several days worth of love, I think. Um, I would love to see her finished in 2024. Um, yeah, you won't hear a zipper on this one because I'm going to leave her accessible. Okay, so this one I should have taken off the Q-snap. I'm going to take off one of the snaps. This one... This one, this one is following me in. This is um, Dash Arm Dancer. This is by Hobby House Press. This is from Hobby House Needleworks, which is my LNS. It's in a bag made for, or well, it's by Tiffany from Black Cat Extitory. <laughs> Look at that. Cool, huh? I'm going to take one of these snaps off. This is going to be my snow day stitch for 2024 with Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. This is where it is right now. I've been working on that tree in the center. Um, we haven't had a bunch of, we've had a, several snow days so that's why it's in a cue snap and that's why it, so it can come in and out of my frame pretty easily. Um, sorry I'm going to scoop this over here. And it'll remain my snow day stitch for 2024. So chances are it will get more work in the beginning of the year than it gets in the latter part of the year. This next one, I can't show you um, what it's going to look like. Oh, yes, I can. This is World of Disney. I got this in a Etsy shop that's no longer um, in business. And I have debated getting rid of this project more times than I can count because it is just, it is the largest project I own. But I enjoy stitching on it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. It is following me into 2024 because it's a full coverage. So all the full coverages are going to continue to go through a rotation. And this is where it's stitched on 28 count mushroom Lugana. Um... Yeah, but you can see, last time I worked on it, I worked kind of in this bobble right here. I have a debated doing Royal Rose on this one across the top. I just I get bored with just this. So, uh, yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I'd have to do it in a section anyway. I couldn't go, like, all the way across. This is big. Um, but that's where it is now. I love that you can see Mickey's face. I love that these birds are coming in here. Um, yeah. 2024 for sure. All right. You ready for 2022? Let's move that pile up here. <laughs> I haven't had to pause yet, so I'm not going to have to edit, which I'm kind of happy about. So... Yay me. This is also a huge full coverage. Like I said, all my full coverage are coming in. Uh, this is a stitching shelf. Let's see view the mock-up. Artwork is by Amy Stewart. It is charted by Heaven and Earth Design. It is stitched on 28 count easy grid. Two over one tent. And here she is. This is where I am. Still love her. Long-term project for sure. Um, 
But I think I have a plan with my full coverage that's a little more solidified than I had it for 2023. So we'll see. Okay. This is another bag from Tiffany from Black Cat Accessory. This is a kit I got at Steel City Stitchers. It is called, it's from Bothy Threads. It's called Mother Duck. And it wasn't even from this year's Steel City Stitchers. It was from last year's. Called Mother Duck. And I got this because it's Mother Duck and the four chickies. I have four kids. And people used to call me Mother Duck. So I absolutely love it. It will not be following me into 2024. For lots and lots of reasons. Um, I'm, I'm not very, honestly, I haven't picked it up yet this year. This is all I have done is this little duck right here. This little ch chicken, chick, chick, chick. And not much of it. Not following me into 2024. It's going into the garage. But it will be seen again. So there's that. I need to focus in somewhere. The next one, this will be coming with me into 2024 because it's a full coverage, is Grand Library. Still like this one. I do not gravitate to it as much as I gravitate to the stitching shelf, but I still like it. It's on 28 count um, Lugana that I'm gritting myself. Um, and that's where we are. I haven't worked on this in quite some time. I'm not sure why. I don't know. I feel like I was getting burned out up here. So I came down here and started working in this coin pile here and just want to get into some other vignette, I think. But it's staying out for 2024. It will continue to go through its rotation. Um, and that's that. So this one is not following me into 2024. This was one that I was supposed to stitch a year long stitch with my stitchy friends, my stitchy sisters group. Um, and then we were going to stitch con and having them all done together. Well, they finished. I didn't, wasn't able to go to stitch con. There was just too much going on. I had to make a decision to back out. It is cinnamon stars by Plum Street. And since they're done and I'm not, I kind of have lost my mojo on this. So this will not go with me into 2024. We'll give it a little time out and see if it, when it comes back out, I'm feeling it at all. Um, it's being stitched on. Do I have it here? Yes. No. I just have it listed as a start. I believe this is a Forbidden Fiber Go fabric, but it may not be. It's 36 count, 2 over 2. And that's where I am. I think with this one, I had the sub and stash, stash threads, and I don't like what I've chosen, at least not for the pumpkins. So it stalled me. This isn't a bag that I got from a smalls exchange at StitchCon from one of the women that we were sitting with, Brandy. Um, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. So it's going to go in the garage for now. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. Whether I will end up continuing it or zipper um, when it comes back out or whether um, I restart, I don't know. Because it's not that I don't like the pattern. I think essentially it's just that I don't like the colors I've chosen. So I'm going to drink some tea. This next one is coming with me, right? I have to verify. Because I know I hemmed and hawed on this one. Between this one and Liberty's Welcome. This is in a bag by Tiffany Black Cat Extra Tree. This is being stitched on, let's see, 36 Count Attic Lace by um, Lakeside Linens. With the call for DMC. And some, I think I stashed though for some of the threads. Yes, I did. 
This is Live on Little by Plum Street. This was given to me by Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. This won out over Liberty's Welcome to carry into 2024. That being said, if I finish this in 2024, Liberty's Welcome will come out and replace it. Yeah, I just think it's going to be fun. Um, like I said, it's on Lakeside Linen. What'd I say? Attic Lace by Lakeside Linen. This is where I am. So not a ton. But that's going to come out. It's going into 2020. Zipper 2024. Morning. You have to leave me a comment to see if you like these long whip parades. I have to tell you, they are a little... I forgot to show you a finish. It's right there. <laughs> I think I showed it already in a video. I'll show it to you when I'm done with this and I'm showing knitting. Um, these long whip parades are no joke. Getting ready for it, it took me two evenings to get ready and get everything kind of organized. And now I'm anxious just to get everything put away. I'm going to take this off. So the next one, this is going with me in 2024. This is a 2022, we're still on 22 whips. This is ornament stocking. It's a Dimensions Gold Kit. I'm always going to have a Dimensions Gold Kit on the go. So since I finished Lost No More, this is going to come out and go into a proper Christmas ro stocking rotation. I may do stocking Sundays. I don't really know. I'm stitching this with the kit fabric, all the kit floss, staying out for 2024. This is where I am. I'm going to backstitch as I go in each bobble. Um, so as soon as I get this one filled in, I will backstitch it. I started some of the background, um, but here we go. But it's got a needle minder on it that was given to me by Tiffany at Black Cat Extra Tree. Sorry, I'm shaking the laptop so there you go but there it's all set I think I'm actually going to make sure that um, I'm working on Christmas stuff over this next week to be quite honest I think that this I'm not gonna lie the quarantine thing kind of took us for a blow today and it set both Matt and I back um, and I just think <sighs> we're both disappointed for sure. Uh, I think that it took us for a blow this morning. It's good that I'm doing this. And, but I think that crafting and stocking my, um, Etsy shop is going to become something that just needs to be, you know, done because it'll keep me busy so I'm trying to pull up a picture this is evening in the park by Chatelaine this is the next whip I'm going to show you you see how they stitch theirs on a brown fabric well their mock-ups on a brown fabric I over dyed a 32 count did I put it on here I wonder if I did evening in the park is one of my whips that was not on here on my list I'm not sure how it didn't um I had ordered a 32 count, it was a Zweigart linen, I got the kit from for Evening in the Park from European Cross Stitch, it's in another bag by Tiffany from Black Cat Stitchery. Um, it was a natural linen I believe, I over dyed it, and I'm going to take the needle minder off of it because it's going in the garage for at least right now. Oh, hold on. Bear with me for a second. Hmm. I'm gonna put the needle there too. Um, it's going in the garage. But I over dyed it with indigo blue. It was a natural Zygarde linen. I over dyed it with an indigo, and I that lighting's washing it way out. Let's put it back here. I like how it's turning out a lot 
That's really good right there. So I'm anxious to get back to this. However, I can't do all the big projects. So this is going to go in the garage, at least for now. And then it will come back out when Mushroom and Fern is done. And I'll have another shadowing to work on. I really do enjoy <laughs> the shadowings. I do. Um, there's something about them that just... I'm grabbing the last pile, I think. But you know, I did. Pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself of how I've managed this. Um, but I, I need to get Mushroom and Fern done. Mushroom and Fern has been on the docket for a while, and it just needs to get done. Uh, but I'm... I love evening in the park too. I, every time Teresa Little Stitcher um, shows it, uh, I just fall in love with the thing every time. So, next one I'm going to show you is going through to 2024. It is mini Blu ray. It is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artwork is by Leah Roche, I believe. This is mini Blu ray. This is a smaller one what do they call that the pdf um this is a mini oh i said it mini blu-ray but just look at his face let's look at the mock up i've decided i am going to convert him to royal rose he's being stitched two over one tent on 28 count lugana just think he's so much fun. I'm not very far. I'd love to get farther. That's where I am. You see that I'm gritting it myself. So I'm going to convert him to Royal Rose. We're just going to go across. Put him in a bigger frame. Get the whole thing done. I think that's the last of my full coverage. Maybe. This is not following me in 2024. Um, this is a round robin that was not a round robin. I feel bad because I haven't been stitching on it. Uh, it's not where I landed. I only stitched on it maybe 10 days. Uh, and I probably will finish it someday, but not right now. It is Floss Two Friends. I was doing this with Hannah from Hannah Dowling, Tamara... Colleen and Corinne from Grace Notes. And there's one more that I'm totally forgetting. Oh, the PD Stitcher. Anyway, I can't remember them all. I have them all written on somewhere. I'm totally blanking right now. Maybe I do have COVID. Um, but anyway, it's being stitched on 40 Count Beach Brew with colors that they've selected for their dresses. Uh, I'm just not going to carry it through right now. That does not mean that I will not sub it back in at some point. I just can't bring myself to do it right now. And that's where I'm at. You see, I didn't keep up. If I'd have kept up, I'd have been fine. I did not for, you know, life happens. And I could not keep up with it. I ended up, was going to do another round robin with Grace Notes and Hannah um, the Dreaming Of series, I got the pattern, I kitted it up, was all ready to go, and decided I can't take on another sale. Life was starting to happen, and I didn't want to let them down. So this will go in the garage for now. I do think eventually I will pull it back out and finish it, but it's not going to be right now. I'm not. 2024 is the year where I'm not going to force myself to stitch on stuff. Just because I feel it should be stitched on. So there we are. Okay, this I started with Tiffany. This was also not on my list. Whoops. Tiffany's a bad influence. I start lots of things with her, I feel like. Um, I say that jokingly. This is Haunted Ch Chateau by Twin Peaks Primitive. Let's look at the PDF instead. I have this on Pattern Keeper. Hmm. So this is Twin Peaks Primitive Haunted Chateau. 
I started this. This is not going forward with me into 2024. Sorry, Tiff. Um, my computer just wanted to fall asleep. That's how long we've been going. An hour. Um, not, not, it's not coming with me into 2024. I am stitching this on Grace Notes. I think it's Sanatina. 36 count with the called for DMC. I will say... So I have one Halloween that's going with me. It is Quake, Halloween Quaker. This is my start. Um, I love it on this fabric. I love this fabric. <laughs> I was in Grace Notes Fabric of the Month for a long time. Switched back and forth between 40 count and 36 count. I have a ton of their fabric. Tons of projects planned for their fabric. And I've recently switched my Fabric of the Month back to... Um, Be Stitch Me for Ada because spread the love, right? And I don't really, I can't, I love the people that want to do multiple Fabric of the Months, but I honestly have more in my stash than I could stitch in my lifetime. So I don't really want to do that. And I'm really feeling like downsizing my whips, not upsizing. So that's what 2024 is. Here's another one that's not going to follow through. This is also in a bag from Black Cat X Stitchery. Sorry, zipper. This is called Tree of... Hi, please. Tree of Hope. Not following me in a 2024. Absolutely love it. I started this on, what did I start this on? Did this Was this on my list? I wonder. I don't think this was on my list either. I know this was a fabric that Tiffany and I got at Black Cat, at um, Steel City Stitchers. Look at the Black Cat Needleminder. Um, she took half the fabric. I have half the fabric. I do not remember. So Tiffany, if you remember what fabric this is, do you remember we got it Steel City? Let me open it up. I took half, she took half. This is not following me into 2024. Stitch two, it's I believe it's 28 count, two over two with all the call for. And it will stow safely. Sorry, zipper caught the fabric. There we go. In the garage. All right. Another bag. Guess who made it? I won this bag at the last Steel City Stitchers retreat. In this bag, it's by Black Cat X Stitchery. Didn't warn you on the zipper. Sorry. In this bag is Peacock Unicorn and a Badger. It is being stitched on 40 count. Um, I believe it's porcelain. It's Attic Lace by Lakeside Linen. I'm stitching this one over two. This is essentially another full coverage piece. This is where we are. And it is going with me into 2024. Yes. Yes, ma'am. This is going with me <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure sorry zipper next one definitely going with me into 2024 maybe I will have it finished before 2024 but I doubt it it is called the brown bat the little brown bat it's by cottage garden sampling it is the year in the woods sale this is the one that if I get this done, the beaver will be started in its stead. We, Gail and I just kind of lost our mojo on the year in the woods. So we decided not to force ourselves. Sorry, my itchy nose, floss tube itchy nose is coming for an appearance. This is where I am. As you can tell, I've had it on my frame a couple of times, um, trying to make headway on it. I'm just not feeling it right now. That doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean it won't get done. But there you go. 
So as soon as he's done, the beaver will come out and get started. It's all kitted up, ready to go. This is also coming with me. So I talked to you about Autumn Town and how that's being split up into 12 parts for me. Um, this is another one. I started this on my birthday with Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. It is Anna Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. Um, absolutely love this chart. It's being stitched on a piece of x design. It's in a bag made for me by my friend Kelly, who is in my Stitchy Sisters group for my birthday. It's called Mushroom. It is by x Designs. We have broken this chart up into 12 equal parts for the year of 2024 so that it will be finished. This is where I am currently. This probably needs to go on my frame so I can finish the center part before we start our chunking up, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. So I will have a monthly goal on this one. So this will definitely go on some sort of frame, whether it be Q-snap, scroll frame, something, so that it can easily be put in and out of my Lowry. Yes, I replaced my Lowry. I think I told you guys, I sold my Lowry at one point because I felt like it wasn't working for me. And then my hand started to give, so I needed something. I, so I had a lap stand, I still have that. I still use that. I think I'm going to set up one of my full coverage. My full coverage rotations are going to go on my lap stand. So I still have that. Um, but the Lowry is nice when your hands aren't working to stitch in hand or hold the hoop or whatever. This is, so I can show you this now because they've gotten married. This I started for my daughter and son-in-law who were married in August and was going to have it for a wedding gift. This is called The Adventure Awaits. It is by Nikki Pattern, Modern Cross Stitch Pattern. She's on Etsy. I actually have quite a few of her patterns. Um, and I love this. Okay, there's a story behind this. I'm stitching this on Lakeside Linen. Linen. 40 Count Morning Dove by Lakeside Linen. I'm going to take a needle minder off of here again because this is not going with me. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with this, and I'll explain why. It has nothing to do with I don't like the pattern. It has nothing to do with they won't like the pattern. Um, here we go. This is where I got to. Look at all the threads. Okay. Now stitching along, stitching along, stitching along. Okay, so here's the deal. They are talking about renovating a bus and traveling and living small. For, for the foreseeable future. Um, so in that lifestyle, they will not have be able to have a big framed piece, sorry, zipper, in their camper. So, hmm, not sure what I'm doing with that. Um, that piece is kind of big. I'm not sure. So once they start talking about that, I kind of lost steam on that project. So I, I think I don't want to do that for them anymore. Um, what I think I'd rather do for them is make them things like ornaments that they can hang in their camper or, um, yeah, something different. So I'm not even sure that I will continue to work on that at all. I'm still deciding, um, yeah, but a framed cross-stitch piece, large one, while they're living small in a camper is probably not the best way to go. So, yeah, another bag by Black Cat Extra Love this bag. <laughs> um, this is going with me into 2024. This is Cooper by Kathy Barrick. It is being stitched on. Is he on my list? I think he is. I don't have fabric on here. I believe he's being stitched on. Let's see if I... I don't really know. It may be Wren by Picture This Plus. It's definitely Picture This Plus. 
but I took a cue from Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. When she stitched this, she changed the colors to be more parrot-like, and so did I. So here he is. He is coming with me into 2024. Would love to get him finished because I have other Kathy Barrick bird patterns that I would like to stitch on. Okay, zipper. Zipper, zipper, zipper. We're almost there. Oh, thank goodness. I don't even know if I have it in me to talk to you about knitting today, but I'm going to anyway. Okay, so this is a heartbreak right here. This is a bag that I made um, out of some tulip pink fabric. I'm testing out my skills. Sorry, zipper. This is Halloween by Hawkburn Hollow. This is at this time not coming with me into 2024. Okay, so before everybody's in an upheaval, because <laughs> I said I wanted to do a, a square a month um, in 2024 and get this done. Fair enough. But if I have too many projects where I have a monthly goal on, I already have two, um, nothing will get done. Nothing else will get done. So, this is not coming with me in 2024. However, this is being stitched on. This is a wider. It is 36 count. I don't think I have this on my list either. Oh, I do. 40 count. It's a lakeside linen. Um, I'm not sure what colorway it is, and I don't think I have. Oh, wait. I do. Light exemplar. 40 count light exemplar by Lakeside Linen. <clears throat> my throat's starting to scratch. Um, and here's where it is. So let's talk for a minute before everybody is in an upheaval. Yes. I wanted to get one square a month in 2024 and get this done. I said it probably twice in my floss tubes. The bottom line is I have to figure out my priorities. So Halloween Quakers first. Then as soon as Halloween Quaker is done, which my hope is zipper, um, that it will be done sooner rather than later because there's not a whole lot left on it. I believe it's about 80% done. This will come out and take its place. So there you go. I need to get the whip count down. It is really starting to bother me and um, yeah. This is also, I actually threw that in the wrong pile. That's not going with me in the 2024. I threw it in that pile. It's going into the garage over there. This is also going into the garage. This is Electra. It's a Nora Corbett. I'm stitching this on 28 count murky by picture this plus with all the called for. I started this over the summer. Actually started beating her, got quite a ways, but she's not coming with me. Um, yeah, heartbreaking. But I can only do so many. Like I said, if I get some things done, then I'll be able to sub in some other things. Did I show you this bag? This is a bag by Black Cat Extitry. <laughs> I love that one. So she, she's not coming with me. I believe this one is, hold on. I'm looking at my list. No, this one is not. This one is, sorry Gail, we started, Gail and I started Carolyn Manning together. I started two Carolyn Mannings this year and neither one are coming with me into 2024 unless I finish something else. Mainly because they were just started this year. I have other things that um, need to get done first. Carolyn Manning, Northern Lights, like I said, these are kind of heartbreaking. I'm stitching this on an 18 count Ada with the called for, and it's nice, easy, feel good stitching. This is how far I got. Not coming with me in 2024. Zipper. Sorry, here's where it gets sad because these are the newest ones, so there's others that are outranking them. Just two more to show you. Zipper. This is, she 
is going to kill me. Ashley Stitching Shorty on Instagram. I put this out as I really wanted this pattern. She gifted me Lady of the Fight. Um, and we started her together this year on the called for fabric, which I believe, hold on, let me take a look. Called for fabric is, where does it say? Thirty-two count French lace linen by Witch Oak. That's what I started her on. I put her in this Ruth Bader Ginsburg Burt bag from Tiffany from Black Cat Accessory, and I started her. I believe this is right side up with Ashley on a Zoom call. So Ashley, if you watch this video, she is going to come back out. She's not going to follow me immediately into 2024. But my plan is, when Queen of Freedom done, is done, Lady of the Flag is taking her place. If I get Royal Holiday done first, Lady of the Flag will take her place. And I'll be working on both her and Queen of Freedom. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I love all my projects. The only projects that I'm thinking about at UFOing are the two that I've talked about, Cinnamon Stars and the one, the wedding piece for my daughter. Because it's just simply not practical for them to have that. Um... So yeah, sorry zipper, but she's going to go in the garage for now uh, and she will come out, I'm convinced, at some point this year. The last one I have to show you is also one I started with some of my Stitchy Sisters. It is called Halloween Hijinks. It is also a Carolyn Manning. Um, let's look at the PDF. I think that's better. I'm stitching this on 28 count dub gray Lugana one over one to keep it kind of tiny. This is not going with me into 2024. Yeah. And this is where I am, mainly because it was just started. I've got others that are older that really need to get done first. Um, truly enjoy stitching this one over one though. It's the only project ever that I'm not doing tent one over one. I'm actually doing it cross, full cross, one over one. So she, this one will go in the garage as well. And that is all of my cross stitch whips. So let's talk about my cross stitch. Man, this is a long video. Um, the 24 whips that I'm taking into 2024 are as follows. My Christmas list, Southern Land, Long Dog Pandemic, Kringles. My Mushroom and Fern Chalane, Land That I Love, The Stitching Shelf, Grand Library, World of Disney, Bonded in the Rain, Mini Blu-ray, Autumn Town, Royal Holiday, Queen of Freedom, Christmas Quaker, My Mill Hill Tree of Life, Halloween Quaker, My Enchanted Ornament Stocking, Cooper, The Bat, and a Forest Grew, Dasher and Dancer, Peacock, Unicorn, and a Badger, and Live on Little. So Autumn Town and Anna Force Grew have monthly stitching goals. The rest, um, if I only stitch on one project per day, that's 15 days each project gets. I'm not saying that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not even holding myself to that. But I think what I'm going to do and I'm talking about is um, having my full coverage go on its normal rotation. It comes through for at least a thousand stitches and then goes away um, and keep rotating through them through the year to keep them worked on. Then I will pick probably, since I have 24 whips, I will pick two of them to put in focus every month. So chances are, once something gets stitched on, um, it will get its 15 days or so and go away and something else will come out. Now, there are several projects on here that will be finished in that 15 day, probably less than 15 day. Um, in that case, something else will get worked on for this time frame and then some, maybe another project will come out or maybe a new start. 
So that I'm going to play by ear. But I do think that I'm going to pick a two projects per month. So that will give me two projects plus and a four screw plus autumn town. So four projects every month plus my full coverage rotation by projects generally five or six and see if I can't get some finishes this year. I would love to get my whip count down to 15 or under at some point. And I have no itch to start things right now, but I think I have no itch to start things because I've also been knitting and I think those small starts and finishes have been fixing that itch for me. Uh, and that's why knitting is gonna stay in its rotation. So speaking of knitting, uh, let's show you a couple things first. I wanna show this. I'm in Tiffany from Black Cat Extra as if I haven't said her name a million times today. Um, I am in her bag, quarterly bag of the month club, and I gotta tell you, absolutely, <laughs> oh my gosh, this was December's quarterly bag, I said quarterly bag of the month, it's not of the month, it's of the quarter, absolutely love the bag, it came with candies that are long gone, but these bags come with a pull, which I absolutely love. These ones came with a thread bed. They came with chocolates and tea like they always do, or I think it came with hot chocolate this time and not tea, but it comes with a thread bed. It came with a pattern, which I'm just gonna, ooh, ooh. so a pattern. And then the pattern was kitted up with the call for DMC and fabric from Oak Crown Studios, which is Amy from Fiber Arts. Amy, that is her new business. So that is where we are. Um, I'm going to show you Tiffany from Black Cat Extra Tree. It also came with some um, thread. Why am I totally blanking on the name? You know, floss drops. There you go. Um, so this is Black Cat Extra Tree. I'm going to hold this up. This is how you find her on Instagram and at uh, Etsy. Here's her QR code if you want to scan it from this video. Oh, wait. Oh, direct link to my Etsy shop. I'm thankful that wasn't like a discount code. Um, so there you go. There's that. And then I'm going to show you, let me get this put back together. This is Oak Crown Studio. This is Amy from Fiber Arts Amy. If you're not watching her, you should. I am awful. So all of you that are my friends in Floss Tube World um, that comment on my videos, I have been watching your videos. I have not had time to comment. So I'm, I'm stalking. But know that I love you all and I love watching you. And this is Fiber Arts Amy's contact for both her and her Oak Crown Studios. absolutely love this bag I love them all but this one for me at Christmas time knocked it out of the park man so that's that the other haul that I want to show you stitchy stuff I'm just looking around to make sure um because we're going long and I'm just I'm feeling like I'm forgetting something now but I don't think I am Gail from Gail's Gold Needle sent me my Christmas gift let me get this piece out of here. Um, hold on. I have stuff in here. So there's stuff in here, but I'm just going to show you. It's a jewelry box, navy blue, that she redid the inside. So there's a little pocket here. There's a measuring tape here that's covered with wool. There are containers here and a pin cushion here. So I have been having this next to my stitchy chair. So it's served for both my stitching, like I have a pair of scissors there. I got a bunch of needle stoppers from my friend Erin. So those have been here because I've been picking out needle pro knitting projects like nobody's business. 
and this sits right next to my city share. I absolutely love it. It never closes. <laughs> it will if I want to take it somewhere, but I think that's it of the stitching, guys. That's my 2024 plans, my year in review, my whip parade, all without editing. So if you have it in you and you want to see, I have a bunch of knitting to show. So another finished project was the Hue Shift Afghan from Knit Picks. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. If you want to see the whole thing, look at my last video. I showed it to you. It's done. It's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. So happy I got that done. So I have a bunch of things. <laughs> I have some new starts because I finished socks. So I started new socks. These, are, this is a bag that I made similar to a bag that you'll see in my shop after the holidays. Um, this is it's from Stitching with Yarn. This is one of their Christmas sock sets. It's here, if I can get my hands to work. Stitching with Yarn. They are located in Oklahoma. This is called Tis the Season. It is a mini. The minis are each 20 grams. It is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. It came with two minis. So let me see if I can show this to you without much of, you know, fanfare. This is the variegated. This is one of the minis. This is the second. This came with two minis. I am making these socks for my husband, so they're a bit longer. So what I have. So green cuff, green stripe, red heel. There'll be a green stripe on the toe, on the foot, and then there'll be a red toe. And this is where I am on those. Aren't they pretty? I had some weird pooling here on the yarn. I don't really care. The other side looks a little better, but I don't really care. Um, they look awesome. They look awesome. I've been knitting the I was knitting these at work, but now I don't have to work anymore for a couple weeks. So then I fell in love with the Grinch, the mean and green set that Craig K from the Crazy Sock Lady was showing on her YouTube channel that came by three by the Z C designs. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't following Yarn Dyers then. Um, and I really feel like I missed out on that, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. Um, so I got a, a mini, it's called a Juliet Sock Mini Skeins. It's called Home for the Holidays. It's from Yarn Love. And then I had a skein of Bear from Lantern Light. It's bare yarn. So the colors of the mini skeins, let me show them to you. Try to get them all together. Let's take the sock out so I'm not, there we go. These are the colors of the mini skein, which reminded me of the Grinch colors. So I started what I'm calling my Grinch sock. And this is the bear. This is in another bag that I made. It's a drawstring bag. Mini stitchery. Um, so you get an idea of what's going to go in my Etsy shop. And this is where... Yep, this is where I am. Let me fix this because it's got... Because I'm striping, I'm kind of carrying yarn. Okay. And this is where I am. So after this stripe, I'm going to do 10 rows of the dark green, and then I'm going to do two rows of the bare, and do 10 rows of the light red, and then two rows of the bare, and 10 rows of the dark red, and do the same on the foot. So there we go. That's that. So those are my two Christmas sock starts. Um, I probably will continue to work on them. I just enjoy them. And I think working on them had cleansed my palette from my stitchy bug burnout after finishing Lost. No more. Uh, it just worked well for me to work on the socks. It still does. 
I'm between big knitting projects right now. I'll talk to you about my plans for those. Yeah. Um, another whip that I just started today. Um, I started a hat. It's a free hat pattern. It's called the Fisherman's. Do I have my phone here? I do. Fisherman's hat pattern. Um, no, it's in iBooks. It's a free pattern. It's from Fiber of Maine. It's called Maine Sea Captain's Hat is what it's called. So I'm just going to show you a picture. Let's see if I can get it to turn. There you go. It is the Maine Sea Captain's Hat. My husband wanted me to make him orange socks and he had ordered orange yarn, but he ordered orange DK yarn. My husband will not wear DK weight socks. That's just not going to happen. So we've since placed an order for orange fingering weight yarn. But here was the orange DK weight yarn. And I thought this morning, well, I'll just go make him a hat. And since I finished the dishcloths dish and it takes the same size needle, um, I started his hat. So I've started the 3x3 three three ribbing. Yeah. And it looks great. So that's going to get work done as well. So those are my three knitting whips at the moment. I have some knitting haul. I have this from 3 by the Sea Designs. I am now following them because I, my, sorry, my hair is all over the place. Um, this is called Cookies for Santa. It's her sock set. And this one's called Mrs. Claus, also sock set. So if I don't feel like, if I don't feel like, if I don't feel like um, starting any more Christmas socks after this, that is fine. These will go in my cabinet for next year or whenever I do feel like doing Christmas socks. I forgot to put all my cards back in my bags. Um, but I enjoy the socks. They also travel well with me to work. Um, and I can imagine me knitting Christmas socks for some of my kids next year. That being said, as soon as I clear some needles or get comfortable with I'm far enough in one pair to start another pair, I asked my son to come to my yarn cabinet and pick out socks for him because he's the only one that I have not of my kids I haven't made socks for. And he picked out this yarn. This is from my local yarn shop. It's called Dream and Color Yarn. It, it is in smooshy figuring weight it's called and the colorway is brilliant but he picked these these will be the next sock i'm not sure if i'll put a different color heel toe on his or not um, we'll see what i have here but talk about that i talked about the dishy weight already okay let's talk about some knitting plans shall we so i needed a place to put all my scraps this is another one it's a free pattern. Let me pull it up for you so you can see it. It is called, it's from Anna Boo's house. It is called the Granny Wrap. If you can see that picture right there. It's crochet. And finishing all these projects has left me yarn scraps to do stuff with. And a friend of mine, Erin, from my Stitching Sisters group, and I had talked about when we're doing projects, winding off five grams and maybe setting up an advent for each other next year. And then I got thinking about that. I don't know if I'll be knitting on enough projects to do that. I don't know. We have to talk more about that. But we talked about that. But I did start the granny wrap <laughs> with my scraps. And this is what it looks like. I think it's gonna look great. I have a ton of solid color pieces left over from the hue shift afghan I finished. So I think what I'm gonna do is alternate these with fingering weight yarn from socks held double. It's giving a good look. I like it. So there's that. So I'm working on that. Um, I also, I picked out an afghan for next year. Um, I don't know. So this morning, I had this idea of how to do this afghan. 
And then when I want to pull the yarn together, I really don't have enough yarn to do it the way I want to do it. But I had thought about doing this Arabian Nights afghan. I don't know if I have the cover here or not. Yes. It's done in mercerized cotton yarn. And I'm like, I have a ton of yarn in my stash. So I think what I'm going to try to do is do this with fingering weight. Do a smaller crochet hook. These octagons are actually quite large in this pattern. Um, and see what I can do. So I pulled together all my minis and I got some fingering weight light gray and fingering weight black um, to complete them. And we're going to see how it works out. But that's one. The other thing that I'm planning on is I have, and I didn't pull the yarn. I have a cake of yarn from my friend Erin that I think I'm going to do this shawl in. So these are both maybe projects. We'll see how I'm feeling in 2024. They may be projects for 2024. They may end up going into 2025. I don't know. Right now I'm happy with the socks. Um, so we'll think. I originally had, this will come back out. I'll, I'll pull the yarn for you and I'll show you next time. But that's kind of where I'm at right now is I'm just, Finishing some 2023 stuff and putting it away and kind of relaxing and settling into my 2024 plans. Wow, an hour and 36 minutes. If you have stuck around this long, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, doing the video definitely has um, helped change my mindset a little bit about today. Today did not start out very well, so I thank you guys for that. Um, yeah. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I hope that if, if you're sick because it's that time of year, feel better soon. Um, my thoughts are with you and your family. If you're just celebrating Christmas, I th hope you have the best time ever. Um, just full of all the good things that come from Christmas. All the spending time with family and eating good food and just celebrating together and loving on each other. Um, I think that's the saddest part about finding out that you have to quarantine um, from your family is just those memories that you have on Christmas. Um, and I'm sure my kids will stop by and I'm sure we will still have memories of a different type. Um, but it's, it's a challenge, right? Uh, I hope that all of you have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, thank you for sticking around for this extra long video and with so many videos to watch I appreciate so much that you've taken the time to spend some time with me today. Um, I love you all. It's been a great year. Uh, thank you so much for your support, your kindness, your kind words, your encouragement and um, I'm going to go organize the stuff and get things set up to move forward crafting for the rest of my time on vacation. Um, have a great day. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next year. Bye.